What's up and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys the easiest and fastest way to farm any quest reward inside of Borderlands 2 for any console and the reason why I want to say console is because that on PC there is a super easy method known as read only farming and the method I'm going to be showing off today is about as close as you're going to get to read only farming on consoles. And whether you're stuck back on the Xbox 360, PS3, Xbox One, PS4, or if you have modern hardware, the PS5 and Xbox Series X, today I have went out of my way to test the method on every single generation of console as I own the Xbox 360, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X. Now that we've got that out of the way, this is a lot quicker than dashboard farming if you were wondering. So if that's how you're farming your quest rewards, your day is about to get a lot better. I don't want to waste anyone's time, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. We're going to go ahead and start with the Xbox Series X and PS5. Now I don't own a PS5, but the commenter who let me know about this method said he did. Therefore, with 99.9% .9 certainty, I can confirm that this works on all PlayStation consoles as well as Xbox. So now that we've got out of the way that it does work on Sony products just as well as it does Microsoft, you'll be seeing me use Xboxes today as that's just my preferred console even though I play all of my Borderlands stuff on PC now. Shortly after the Commander Lilith DLC, I just jumped to PC, and honestly, I couldn't be any happier. But this method is very simple, and if you didn't know, the original strategy involved you having to dashboard every time you didn't get the quest reward that you wanted, which is not only super tedious, but about twice as long as the method we're about to show you here today. The commenter says he got it from a channel known as Fierce Chimera, and while I have no idea who the hell that is, I just wanted to say, thanks pal. Without you, my friend here wouldn't have told me about the method, and we wouldn't be here today. So let's just get into it. After you have completed whatever quest it is that has whatever quest reward you're looking for, and the mission is ready to turn in, go ahead and save and quit, and you are ready to do this farm. Load back into your game and turn the quest in. For example, you'll see me turning in the side quest Uncle Teddy in order to obtain the pistol known as the Lady Fist, one of the strongest pistols in the game. But I want to give a disclaimer here that this will work for any quest rewards in the game. Sandhawk, Rapier, whatever you want. So after you turn it in, do not leave this screen where you can see the item. Check out the parts, prefix, and the element before you click A. And if you want to, you can even click down on your right stick and it will bring the weapon up closer to you where you can actually inspect it and check out the parts closer. This is really useful if you don't know your weapon parts yet, which there are plenty of different guides to help you figure that out. They're all over the internet, so really, if you don't know your weapon parts, just look up one of those guides and try and go from there. If it's not what you want, just click your center home button on the controller and sign out of your account. This is step two. After you've signed out, this will then kick you to the main menu of the game and you will have to sign back in. Once signing back in and loading into the game once more, click continue and there you go. Go turn in the quest again and if it's not what you want, sign out and back to the menu you will go. Rinse and repeat. As you'll see in my footage, it is not only a lot quicker than dashboarding but especially on modern hardware, it takes no time at all. You will just need to continue to sign out after every time you turn in the quest and you don't get what you want. Now, let's direct our attention to last generation for a moment with the original Xbox One. And if you have any questions about this method, please let me know in the comments down below. I am always responding to you guys, and I just love hearing your feedback. So on last generation's original Xbox One, it is literally just the exact same thing, just a tiny bit slower than the Series X. And I know that probably sounds crazy, but really, it's no different than the method over on the modern console. As you can see in the footage, after I turn in Uncle Teddy, I then sign out. Remember, this is on the same profile, same character. And just like the Xbox Series X, I am kicked out to the main menu. But upon signing back in and jumping back into the game, you can see that the quest is there ready for me to turn in once more. And remember, for you play PlayStation players, it works the exact same way on PlayStation 4 and 5. As you can see, it's performed the exact same way over on Xbox One as it is the current generations. So let's quickly divert our attention over to the Xbox 360 and roll back the clocks just a couple of days. And the reason I think it's important to talk about this console and as well as the PS3 because it's in that same boat, well one, the majority of the player base is on console. While we will never know what the numbers look like on console, it's safe to say that the nine console ports, if you count the VR version, definitely have the Steam version beat in terms of monthly players. There's no way just the Steam version has more than those nine versions of the game going. So the Xbox 360 and PS3 method is literally just the exact same. I just thought I'd get that out of the way, that the console versions, 
even these old ones. And you guys can let them know down in the comments because I see a couple of you talking about how you still play on the Xbox 360, including a longtime commenter and legend of the channel, David Wayne. If you're out there, my friend, thank you for your longtime support, and I hope you're doing well on your Xbox 360 Borderlands 2 journey. But like I said, the Xbox 360 method is literally just the exact same, just obviously a lot slower as the console is many, many moons older. But once you've finished your quest, you'll need to save and quit, and you are ready to go. As you can see, I was farming me a fibber on this really old Salvador save, and I think I literally made this one just to play with people on True Vault Honor Mode who didn't have the DLCs, as it was called TVHM Sal. Almost made it to level 50 on there, but I'm sure I was able to jump in on a couple TVHM games, so I'm sure the progress was indeed made for that reason. Really cool to see these old saves, and I'm glad I still have my old hard drive. It was definitely a trip going from the PC to the nice-ass Xbox Series X to this, but nonetheless, you'll essentially do the exact same thing. After you reload the game and turn the quest in, check what you got. If it isn't what you want, sign out, and there you go. You're back to the main menu, just like all the other methods, and you're ready to sign back in. And once you do and you're backed into the game, you'll see that your quest isn't turned in and you can continue your farming. And that's really all I've got for you guys today. I hope you all did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to smash the like on it and subscribe if you guys are new. Please let me know your thoughts on this video in the comments below. Are a lot of you guys playing on console out there? I know the Switch version is pretty popular nowadays. And I've even seen some of you excited for Borderlands 3 on the Switch. For whatever reason, I don't know. But I just want to give a big shout out to Honeybuns for giving me this idea and letting me know this method in my comment section. Your contribution is forever appreciated, my Honeybun friend, and I hope you are having a good day just like I am. And hell, I hope this video made your guys' farming just a little bit easier. And if I was able to accomplish that, then I would say I accomplished my goal in today's video. It's all about getting those goals done at the end of the day, whether it's accomplishing the big long-term ones or just hitting a little notch off your belt. So whatever goals you guys have out there, no matter how stupid they feel, no matter how unachievable they feel, I want you guys to go for it. And even if your biggest goal is a little bit intimidating right now, maybe go for one of the smaller ones. So I've got a bunch of big videos that I got planned, but I'm not ready for all of those yet. So why not hit one of these little small notches off my belt like I did today? And that's my advice for today. I hope you all really did enjoy your stay. I'm going to go have me a couple bowls and take it easy for the night. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Here he is, where he looks slow. This is a man who's got to give me over real quick. Shit!